I feel like the shortcuts app on the iPhone has just never been a thing that anybody ever wandered into looking at or just like really getting in there and just creating shortcuts to use on a daily because believe it or not, ever since I started using them, they have made a bunch of things much easier for me because I use them pretty much daily. There are some where I don't use daily, but whenever I do need it, boom, I got it right there on the fly. It's nice, easy, right there. You can even add it to your widgets on your home screen. Boop, press it, you're good. You don't even gotta worry about it. So today in this video, I'm gonna go over the shortcuts and there's one automation that's in the shortcuts that I use, but I'm gonna go over everything that I personally use either daily or I actually use whenever I actually need it. Because I know a lot of you don't might not even know where to start. All right, so what's up with y'all? First off, just wanna say I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing. We, we, we've been, we been gaining traction. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, whether you're a subscriber or not, appreciate the love you guys have been showing. The first thing I wanna go over is just pretty much tell you guys how the shortcuts work whenever I paste them into the description, just to kind of give you guys an idea whenever you go to my description, what you can do. So all you literally have to do is I'm gonna provide the link of the shortcut in the description or I'll just put it in some way, some sort of fashion, whatever, you feel me. But what you'll do is you'll access that on your Safari, maybe even Chrome, and all you do is just put it in there, that little link that I provide, it'll say, hey, do you wanna add this to your shortcuts? Bada bing, bada boom, it should go right into your shortcuts app and then you're boom, you're all good and ready to go, you don't gotta worry about it. And it doesn't even just be me. You can explore all over the internet about just different shortcuts that people make because dog, there are some crazy ones that you can really explore that I even think about adding. But like you can get very granular when it comes to shortcuts, even creating automations and stuff like that. So if you've never tried the shortcuts app, I highly recommend that you dive in there, be creative with it, figure out real world problems that you are having and see if you can somehow create a shortcut to just one button, you're good. You ain't gotta worry about it. The very first one that I have to tell you guys about is a chat GPT voice mode. I use that solely over Siri because I don't really even use Siri that much. I only use Siri whenever I need to do like regular stuff to like, it's like send a message to so-and-so or call so-and-so. But whenever I need to ask it a question, I'm going straight to ChatGPT. And since I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I have that little action button on the side right there and that's what I have it tied to. So I can do it two separate ways. I can either one, press the voice mode on the shortcuts app and boom, it'll go straight to the voice mode on ChatGPT. Or two, I have it just pretty much that shortcut already enabled and I'll just go to my actual action button and assign that shortcut to the action button and we are all good. So pretty much any shortcut that you have and if you have, app, any shortcut that you have in the app, you can assign it to this action button if that's what you, if you have, if your phone allows that and boom, you can have that shortcut just tied right there and look, check this out, one second. Hold for voice mode, look at that. It goes straight to, straight to ChatGPT on voice mode, all that stuff. How you doing, ChatGPT? How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's everything going on your end? Doing splendid. Now, one thing I do so freaking much is my screenshots and videos, they just go all willy-nilly in my photos app. Like, it's bad. So, I have two shortcuts that I use whenever I want to just clean up screenshots or I want to clean up videos. I have, I use pretty much like weekly or so whenever I know I, I started racking up some screenshots, like I might need to do it because I'm kind of overdue. Like my, my space is kind of diminishing because I'm over here taking videos and screenshots of just random bull junk that shouldn't even be on my phone. But those two shortcuts right there, I love to use because it grabs all of my screenshots for one and it grabs all of my videos for one and I can just look through all of them, delete what I need to delete and boom, I don't got to worry about it. Now this one you guys probably have heard of, you guys are honestly probably have used it some point in time whenever this happened but whenever you drop your phone in some water or whatever the hell it may be the speakers start to get a little muffled you know what i mean so like you're gonna have to make sure that either one you start shaking your phone get it out you throw it in some rice whatever you got to do but the water eject shortcut that i use does pretty damn good honestly i use it like a few times whenever because there was a few times where i used my phone for a for a video project. I had to put my phone submerged into water. Everything was good from that end, like my phone was good. But the speakers obviously, they have water in it, so it's a little bit muffled. So that water eject that I took from the internet, shout out to the guy who ever made it. It just allows it to like have like a very, very like low tone little buzz that, I'll show you guys one second, listen, check this out. So it'll do something like this, just say begin. Hopefully you guys heard that. But what it does, it does, it just does like a very low, low, like kind of like a white noise, noise, noise that just like, you know what I mean? Like it goes like boom. And what that does is it, it just pretty much allows your speakers to push that water out. Now it's not gonna get every single droplet, 
but it's gonna make a huge difference whenever you do need to actually listen to something or something like that. Say your phone gets splashed on whatever, you need to listen to a little YouTube video tutorial, whatever the hell it may be. Boom, water eject, you can be able to listen to, to things now, it's perfect. Now these are for people who have a vehicle that allows you to start, stop, lock, unlock, things like that. I have that and I use that pretty much every damn day. Having a shortcuts app and what I do specifically for that is I have a widget on my phone that whenever I do like a little smart stack, I can just swipe through all of them and I have my remote, my unlock and my lock. This The remote start, that thing, it's just, it's just freaking amazing that what it, like it literally will just have a command to go over to the Toyota app because that's the car I drive Toyota, you feel me? It goes to the Toyota app and then what it'll do is it'll tell the Toyota app, hey yo, start his vehicle, hey yo, lock it, hey yo, unlock it, whatever I need to do. And boom, that's all it does. It does a command and I get another notification from my Toyota app saying that everything's been locked or it's been start and I'm good. So that one I use pretty much daily and I actually have it on my smart stack. So all you literally do is you create a just a smart stack and then what you'll do is once you create that smart stack, you'll see a shortcuts widget that you could be able to utilize and you can sort it by however which way you like whatever your little heart desires but the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is whenever you go to your shortcuts app your actual app go ahead and create a folder with all your favorite little shortcuts and put them in that folder so i put mine as main so all i do now is i'll just go to the shortcuts widget on my phone on my home screen the little smart stack the thing i was just talking about earlier and then i'm gonna select the folder main so then boom all those shortcuts that are very important and dear to my heart, they show up right there and I don't gotta worry about it. I do just scroll through that smart stack, bada bing, bada boom, one button does it for you, feel me? And then the last thing I use in the shortcuts app isn't actually a shortcut, it's more so an automation that I created. And it's pretty much, it's really like a simple one. I'm like, nah, I'm not like no freaking like doing coding and stuff like that. I'm not doing all that. All I do, all I literally do is say, when I arrive at my gym, bada bing, start my workout on my Apple Watch, boom, that's it. And it's so nice because what it allows you to do is whenever you click the when I arrive to location, it'll set a radius and you can either run after confirmation or run immediately. I like to do run after confirmation because if I drive past it, sometimes the radius isn't like super confined. So like I'll just drive on the street past it and it'll start on my watch and I, 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 it was getting very annoying. So I do run after confirmation. So the little shortcuts notification pop up, be like, hey, yo, see you at the gym. Bada bing, bada boom, do you want to start? Then boom, you click start and you're all good and ready to go. So whenever I pull up to the gym now, on my watch it says, do you wanna start? Boom, I start and I choose what workout that I want, which is sweet. Because you can either just click start workout and it opens up the app, or you can simply just tell it, hey yo, start workout and go ahead and start functional strength training or freaking polo stuff or you know running, whatever you do, hiking, you get to this little spot, start my hike, stuff like that. Boom, you don't gotta worry about what actual specific workout that you're doing. It just starts in your watch and you don't gotta worry about it. And then you can also do the same whenever you leave the gym. So whenever you leave the gym, it can, you can just stop your, your workout and boom, you don't even gotta worry about stopping the damn thing, which is sweet. That automation has saved me so many times whenever I completely forget to just not even start my workout. So those are all the shortcuts and then the one automation that I use in the shortcuts app, I'm still playing with it every day, figuring out what I can do, what I can add, such as like security systems around the house or whatever the case may be. But I like to also just keep it basic, just the stuff that I don't even want to worry about. I just create a little button for it and, and then, you know, I'm all good and dandy. But you guys let me know what automations and or shortcuts that you use. Go ahead and throw them down in the comment section. I'm always down to try some new stuff. Just don't be doing no crazy stuff. Don't, don't be putting no inappropriate stuff in the comment section, doing some weird stuff with the shortcuts. But I, honestly, I'm genuinely like excited about stuff like that. So let me know what you guys have, throw it in the comment section always down to learn and try new things, but hopefully this gave you some sort of value and or uh, uh, insight, you know what I mean? Insight on whether or not you wanna try some shortcuts out. And per usual, thank you guys so much for watching, taking the time out of your day, watch me on your screen and all the love you've been showing me. And we out. Everything's gonna be in the description just for you guys, shortcuts, all that jazz. Like you ain't even gotta worry about none of that stuff. Like you good, like look at this library, like all these shortcuts, you're good, you're good.